Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, creator of the Dat Destroyer book. Today we're going to review a few fine points on the thyroid gland for the Oat, Dat, and MCAT. All right, can anyone tell me where, where would you find the thyroid gland? Well, would it be would it be in the mediastinum, in your ass, in small intestine, in your abdominal? Where, where would you find it? All right, in the neck. First thing the kid ever got right. Um, if we look at the thyroid gland, I made a feeble attempt to draw a picture of this. Um, it's in the anterior neck region. It's adjacent to the voice box, which you know is called the larynx, which is a short vet question, and the trachea as well. So it's in that anterior neck region. It's bilobed, as you can see. It's connected by this band of tissue called an isthmus. So as you can see, I made a feeble attempt to put that isthmus in. Now, this is the functional and structural unit of this gland is called the follicle. When you get to pathology class and you look underneath it, you're gonna see thousands of these round circular objects filled with colloid, and that's gonna be called the follicle. So you can't miss them. Now, the cells of the thyroid gland include the follicular cells, which we didn't talk about, and the parafollicular cells. I just gave a name on it. The follicular cells is what's involved in making T3 and T4. That's the triiodothyronine, and T4, you probably all know, is thyroxine. So these are your two hormones that are made by the thyroid gland, but keep in mind, they're derived from, well, the name gives it away, from iodine. So anything with iodine, and that's an unusual element, that's gonna be involved in making these hormones. The parafollicular cells are involved in making calcitonin, which tones down or decreases the calcium in the blood, and therefore would suppress the resorption of the osteoclasts. If you remember, the osteoclast was breaking down bone. I2 is needed, as we said. Now, this is an amino acid-derived hormone. So T3 and T4, if I ever ask you what kind of hormone is it, is it peptide hormone? Is it amino acid-derived? Is it steroid? Um, this is an amino acid-derived hormone. And as you can see, the most abundant form, which we didn't get into, is T4. The way you can remember that is four is greater than three. So the most abundant, the bigger number, most abundant. It undergoes a deiodination transformation. In other words, we lose an iodine and you go from T4 to the T3. It's the T3 that has the greatest biological activity. And that's going to have the greater receptor to the inf for affinity receptors gonna have the greatest affinity for receptors. T3 and T4, they're involved in regulating the cell and tissue metabolic rate. It's involved with heat production. Thyroid gland hormones are involved in body growth as well as development. A special note that I actually saw a PhD paper that went into the idea if there was low amounts of the thyroid hormones, there would be CNS damage. You would decrease the number of neurons as well as decrease decrease and have defective myelination. So this is a very important hormone in early growth and development. Now, here's a tricky question and I'm actually gonna have in the 2020 Destroyer book. We don't have this in the book, so go to your Destroyer books, the most late edition, latest edition, and put this in. Like a steroid, if you remember, it's steroids bind to the nuclear receptors, generally speaking. Here, this hormone, even though it's amino acid derived, also binds to the nuclear receptors. Is that clear? Normally we think cell surface receptors if it's non-steroid, but this is a nuclear receptor hormone just like the steroids. Okay, you should always end something with some of the pathologies. I try to do this in my bio notes to go over some of the pathologies that we'll see. For example, goiter, enlargement of the thyroid gland, that can either be in hypo or hyperthyroidism. So that can go either way. Graves disease, that is hyperthyroidism. Um, nice way to remember it, if you think of a grave, like a graveyard, usually you're all scared. So hyper, yeah. hyper goes with graves. That's the way I remember it. Um, mixedema, a nice way to remember it is focus on the X. X is at the bottom, it's last. So last, if you're in a running race and you last, you usually think slow. So think hypo, hypothyroidism. And finally, there's an autoimmune disease that you should at least be familiar with. I have it in Destroyer called Hashimoto disease. That's due to a hypothyroidism where it's an underactive thyroid. I hope this helps. This should be enough information to get you to the finish line on the MCAT, the DAT, 
or the oath exam. All right, guys, that's it. Bye-bye.